what is up guys welcome back to the bro soaps channel and once again another wings of duty video that you guys have been waiting a long time to see so i've been using the ios screen recorder for this video so i don't know how the quality is going to turn out hopefully it's going to be around the same as what i report i use a quick time player but if not then that's going to suck so we'll see how it works out and if it doesn't work out too well then we will just go back to quick time player and whatever I can use it. Anyways, right here I am in the uh, M2A Sherman, something like that. I'm in the one of the, the Sherman tank. And right now I'm taking fire from one of the Japanese tanks over there, like a Kochi something. Uh, one of the bigger ones that I see right here after being shot a whole bunch. But because the Sherman's so heavily armored, I was able to tank through it and just get a few hits in and destroy the other tank over there. And that allowed me to recapture the base. And this is actually a pretty epic tank battle. Um, it wasn't like a massive full scale tank battle planes and everything, but it was basically like a one on one tank battle here, and then it gets a little bit more crazy as the battle goes on, more people join, so as you can imagine. But the tanks in realistic mode actually don't look too bad. I like how you're in a commander position and you kind of just control the gun and stuff. I think it's better than just being in aim mode all the time or a third person. So I kind of like that. Uh, in historic and arcade mode, you'll be in third person, but in realistic mode is quite nice. One of the things I do not like about the tanks is that it's hard to tell, like when you're hit, well, about realistic mode. When you're hit, it's hard to tell how much damage you've taken because there's no physical signs of damage on your tank. Uh, you just hear the ching sound or whatever it is, and you know, it doesn't really help you out too much. So it's hard to tell if you're wounded and you need to, you need to go back to the base to repair or, you know, uh, there's not a really realistic tank damage model, kind of just blow up, um, which is fine. I mean, I don't, I don't mind them blowing up, uh, cause that's what would happen in real life. But like, you can't have like injured crew, your tracks can't break. Like, I think it would be cool if you could use your machine gun to like destroy the tracks of another tank. Because I'd, I'd imagine it destroy the tracks. Uh, it's the, the, the tracks aren't armored; they're just rubber, and you can maybe shoot off the tracks, which I think would be like really cool for the 50 cal to be able to do. Uh, maybe even shoot through holes that the well, uh, that the cannon rounds punctured in, or I don't know, just something like that. Not too sure, but just some ideas for the tanks. But as of right now, the tanks are pretty cool. I got really not too much to complain about. There is bullet drop, there is armor deflection. I mean, it, it's a pretty big package deal. And the tanks are actually fairly cheap. So if you've been grinding ads, like a lot of people have been lately, then you can get yourself some pretty nice tanks. Um, I mean, the tanks are a lot of fun and you'll see a lot of people play with them. Uh, and if you don't wanna grind it out, just go with the Japanese tree or even the German tree. And you can actually get some pretty nice tanks for pretty low cost. Um, and if you're wondering how the tanks work, you can basically, well for New Guinea, you can basically just spawn at the place you want to attack. Uh, but you have to attack them in order, so you have to attack uh, Lay before you can attack uh, Fitz Chaffin, or Buna before you can attack Port Moresby. So something to keep in mind, but it's actually really cool. You just spawn there, you have to defeat everything over there, and just go to the flat, capture it. Uh, another good way to capture bases especially, because um, it's hard to land get over there without getting yourself killed by ships or flak or something so it's just kind of cool that you can do that uh, so yeah that's pretty much tanks for you and I'm pretty much just destroying this Japanese tank right here because I'm the Sherman and it's just one of those things that can destroy the Japanese tanks pretty easily so I think I just got shot at so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a look around uh, I, now that I look back at the video I see where he's at but it took me a while to find out where he was and he's just above the whatever that thing is right there, the flag is. Um, so I'm taking shots at him right now. I'm not too sure if there's area damage with the explosions, or the, yeah, I don't know if there's area damage in this game. I don't think there is. If you see the, like a, like a flash mark on their tank, that means they got hit, like that's a hit mark. Then that's a miss, because you see too much dirt. But if you see just like a flash mark, you know you've hit him. And it kind of looks like the bullets go through the tank for some reason, but they're they're not really. That you can, I love how you can just you can either blow the whole turret off, or you can just blow the whole tank up. It's kind of cool how that works out. I, I think they did a really good job with the tanks. They're a lot of fun, 
and the 50 cal on top of the tank is really epic for shooting down planes and stuff or taking out flak or ship cannons or stuff. Uh, the machine gun in here isn't really too useful because it's not really any infantry or anything, but it's still really good if you yeah, really a 50 cal in I guess. I don't know. Um, or if you need to uh, attack something really close to the tank, like maybe you rolled up on some flak uh, that can't kill you, but you're too close to it to use the 50 cal, so I guess you can just switch to that. Or maybe plane on the runway, uh, 50 cal can't hit him. I don't know. Just something to think about. So he spawned back now. He's shooting at me, and yeah, I guess whoever can play the most shots first. He's shooting on the move, so it's gonna be a lot harder for him to hit me. Uh, whereas I'm stationary, so I'm a easier target, but he's moving, so it'll be a little bit tougher for him. But it's not too hard to shoot while on the move, um, as you can see right there. Um, yeah, you you might be disadvantaged a little bit uh, while moving, but it's actually not that hard. Uh, it's definitely easier to stay still. Uh, but if it's like semi close range, it's not that bad. So let's go ahead and hop into a B25 over here. So I was gonna make this video about the B25 preview, but uh, I kind of got shut down. So maybe the next video, guys. So instead, let's talk about the P40E. So right now, I'm just defending our base from these tanks over here. Just kind of dropping bombs on them. It only takes a hundred pound bomb just to destroy one of these Japanese tanks. So you don't really need to like fully arm yourself. I guess more smaller bombs would kind of be useful now instead of uh, bigger, heavier bombs, which would be better for ships and stuff. So just dropping these hundred pound bombs on these tanks over here. Uh, didn't get too much dogfight action. There wasn't enough planes on this map. But uh, definitely got a lot of tank stuff going on. And a lot of people have been asking for uh, less edited videos, so this is just kind of my shot at it. It's kind of like my older videos, just talk over gameplay where nothing's edited much, it's just cuts and stuff. So maybe you guys will enjoy this better. If you do, just let me know and I can keep doing it. If not, I'll just go back to some fast paced editing, whatever. Uh, but honestly, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, that's a lot of smoke for one take. But yeah, I'm just kind of circling this area. It looks like a hell counting ground over there. I just saw a tank over there. Which um, maybe I should have saw earlier, but I guess I missed it, or maybe I died. maybe that wasn't a take. Who knows? So I guess I'm gonna circle back over, and I see a plane take it off now. And maybe it was just a plane one to take, but I'm pretty sure there's another take that shows up there. It is. So there's the tank, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop a bomb on it. I think this one might hit it. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good hit, but it wasn't powerful enough. No, it was. Forget it. At first I thought it didn't kill it, but it just took a second and kind of just blew up. I've actually survived the bomb, like it fell on me, and you'll you'll know you've been hit by it because, you know, your tank will make that weird sound. Uh, but you can actually survive being hit with bombs, so if you're attacking Shermans and stuff, or even the bigger Panzers, uh, a 500 pound bomb, or maybe a 250 pound bomb, uh, might be required to actually take it down. Over here it looks like some kind of dogfight's going on, so let's go check it out. So over here I spotted a zero, so I'm going to turn into it. If you guys haven't noticed, we have red tracers now, which I'm actually quite happy about. Uh, I kind of wish they made it a bit more visible, so you can see it a little bit better. But they, they still look really cool nonetheless, it's a lot easier to see. This guy uh, got hit a little bit it looks like, uh, so he's smoking now, so it should be a lot easier to identify him. But for whatever reason, I just, I don't know what happens, but the dogfight just goes from the play. It just like, gets really weird. So I'm going to pull up, and I think the Zero is actually like trying to follow me right now. So I'm kind of not in a really good situation. I just saw a Tracer fly by me right there, which is kind of a close call. So I'm going to just keep turning, I guess. Because the plane turns pretty decently, but with the previous planes, they all seem a lot heavier. Uh, if that makes sense. Like They're, they're a lot more sluggish, I feel, uh, than the other models of premiums or even the non-premiums, like if you ever flew the P-38 and then the P-38 premium, you know what I'm talking about, it feels really different. Uh, this is just me shooting at a P-39 over here because I didn't know who it was, <laughs> so I'm just shooting at it, but good thing all my shots missed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure So for those of you who haven't seen the new bullet deflection yet, here it is, bullets ricocheting off the ground and off the tank. 
uh, you can see the tracer just fly back up in the air. Actually, all of them. You'll see every single one fly back in the air. Not just the tracers, just all bullets, which is kind of kind of cool, I guess. And it looks a lot cooler, but it creates a little bit more lag. So if you've been lagging before, uh, you'll start lagging now. But you know, never too late to upgrade a new phone if you want. Uh, but yeah, this game is pretty intensive when it comes down to like uh, usage of. I don't know, it just gets pretty laggy. But I mean, it's alright. Right now, I'm not climbing a zero over here, which doesn't seem to be working out too well. Because they definitely outclimbed me, I'm just gonna be honest with you. <laughs> totally just got outclimbed right there. And I already know I can't turn fight with them in this P40E, because it's a bit more heavy, I feel. Um, but it is a bit faster than the P40C. But with the P40E, at least you could like, go head on heads and stuff. Uh, this thing could take quite a bit of damage. Um, I wouldn't say as much as the P40C for some reason, but it can definitely take some more damage. You'll you'll tend to get wings snapped a lot. Uh, people will just snap your wing off or whatever. You'll just go down really fast. Uh, but if they don't do that, you'll tend to be taking uh, quite a lot of hits with being alright. But uh, yeah. Now, one of my questions is, can you get hit with the deflected round? Like, if I shoot at the ground, and it ricochets all over someone else and they get a kill like that. Because if you could, that'd be so cool. Um, I mean, it, it'd just be cool. I don't know what else to say about it. I think it'd be something I'd want to see. But until then, I guess we won't know for a while. But I might test it out and stuff. Only if this video hits 2,000 million likes. So let's do this. I'm joking. Okay. But leave a like if you guys enjoyed. That's going to go ahead and conclude us for this video. And, um,. This plane, it looks like. I have to take it back to the mechanic. Uh, he's not going to be happy to see this. But, um, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, grow to 2K. At 2K, we're going to drop some merchandise for you guys. So, if you guys want to get some Wings of Duty uh, t shirts or some Bros Films t shirts or a combination of both, or even support us on Patreon or something, I don't know, uh, that'll be available for you guys if you want to do so at 2K. So, yeah, quite excited for 2K. Also, guys, think about a 2K special. Leave uh, suggestions down in the comments below, and I'll pick one out, and we'll do it. Uh, make sure to like the one. Uh, hit the like button on that comment, uh, on the one that you want to see. And please don't do 2,000 push-ups, because I really don't want to do 2,000 push-ups. I'll set some other goal for 2,000 push-ups, but, <laughs> yeah. No, oh, I forgot about this landing. This is a really bad landing. I, I knew it was going to be a bad landing, but I did it just so I could crash land. Uh, yeah, this is what the crash landing looked like. <laughs> so I hit that, and it kind of just blew up. But yeah, guys, see you next time on the Bros Films channel. Bye-bye.